talk a little bit about what you think was sort of like more of the, you know, as, you know, as your cancer was diagnosed and, you know, we've also had to diagnose a recurrence of your, of your cancer. Um, what has been the sort of biggest challenge for you with the diagnosis of ovarian cancer through the years? I think the biggest challenge um, has been just trying to manage the symptoms you know, like neuropathy and everything and try to stay focused mm -hmm. um, on what I'm doing and just try to get some type of normalcy in my life. Yeah. Uh, even though I know I have, uh, there's going to be times where I probably can't do everything I want to do, but mm -hmm. I try to, I, I kept working, which helped. Yeah. Um, I would go for walks, walk. And, uh, but the biggest challenge, I think the biggest one was, um, not joining so many of these groups <laughs> that they have out here because you know each woman you could have the same stage as somebody else but your experience and your journey is going to be different this is so true you know, my doctor does this type of treatment your doctor does that and i don't want to sit down and compare you know and stress myself out so that's one of the challenges is just um encouraging people and giving them support without trying to say well this is what my doctor does what does your doctor do so that's one thing that I try to. That is such great advice do. that I think there's a lot of resources out there, but really thinking about your individual case and thinking about, you know, how do you meet with your team to kind of think about what's right for you, sort of getting the support from all the different resources that are out there, but then really kind of making sure you realize that each person, like you just said so well, has their own story and their own own process. So that's a really important point. 